Up next on Travelog, I turn teacher for a day during a visit to the local school. Nodong students teach me an important lesson about animals, and I get put through my paces by some very talented tiny dancers. <coughs> Up bright and early with the roosters, marking a very special start to our last day in the village of Nodong. Education has always been very important to the Bai people, so it's understandable why this school is the only new building in the village. Here, about 100 primary school age children receive a thorough education, including lessons in English. It's actually very rare for a primary school in such an isolated mountainous area to teach English. And today, I've been asked to lend a hand. Today,非常荣幸,我们来了一位新老师,给你们上一些课,但是好不好? I've never taught a class before, so as you can see, I'm nervous. Old MacDonald had yo iga nongsa. Laughing at me or with me? You decide. Eventually, we get the hang of it. Me teaching and them singing this strange nursery rhyme. a thing or two. Not just how to teach nursery rhymes, but did you know that animals from different countries also speak different languages? Where I come from, dogs say woof woof. In China, it's wang wang. Or a figure. But my education for the day is far from over. I've always believed that to get the most out of life, you have to be willing to try new things even if your pride is at stake. Well, class is over and it's time to get some exercise. I taught them an English song. Now they're going to teach me a dance a special country dance. Okay, so I'm definitely not as good as these kids. But I have to admit, it's kind of fun. In future, I might not remember the steps, but I don't think I'll ever forget that school. 
coming to Nodong, I got exactly what I was promised. Stepping into this village is like stepping into life in China as it was hundreds of years ago. But I got more than that. It's full of people who are vibrant, fascinating, full of big ideas and dreams and who are very welcoming. And I think it's the people of Nodong that will make sure this village has a bright future for hundreds and hundreds of years to come. I'm Katrina Yu. Thank you for watching Travelog. We'll see you next time.